Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a POV or persistence of vision display and also how to run it without a battery with the help of wireless power transfer circuit as demonstrated in my previous video. But first, I would request you to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. To start with, the circuit for the display is based on a Atmel Atmega 328 IC. You can also use a Arduino Nano for the same. The power received from the receiving coil is passed through a full bridge rectifier and a capacitor. The voltage is then regulated by a 5 volt SMD voltage regulator. The D2 pin of the IC is connected to the Hall FX sensor and all other digital and analog pins are connected to each of the LEDs. The power transmitter circuit is already discussed in my previous video. The receiving coil is connected with a 4.7 nanofarad capacitor. A 6 pin female header is connected for programming the IC. The Hall FX sensor is connected with a 10 kilo ohms register between its positive supply pin and output pin. All the cathode of the LEDs are connected to ground and every LEDs are connected with its individual 470 ohm current limiting register before connecting to the pins of the IC. After designing the PCB in Easy EDS software, got the PCB manufactured. To start with the soldering process, the LEDs were first soldered. All the 19 LEDs are SMD components. Persistence of vision display or POV display compose images by displaying one spatial portion at a time in rapid succession. For example, one column of pixels every few milliseconds. This accomplished by means of rapidly moving a single row of LEDs along a circular path. The effect is that the image is perceived as a whole by the viewer as long as the entire path is completed during the visual persistence time of the human eye. The 470 ohm current limiting SMD register are soldered for each of the LEDs. The 5 volt voltage regulator is placed and also the 220 microfarad smoothing capacitor is soldered. The full bridge rectifier is inserted and soldered into the PCB. Then couple of 10k register and 100 nanofarad capacitor are soldered. IC base is inserted. 
the 16 megahertz crystal oscillator and couple of 22 picofarad capacitor is soldered. And finally, the Hall FX sensor is soldered. The receiving coil is glued to the back of the PCB. The programming header is soldered to the PCB. A 12 volt DC motor is taken. The two terminals of the motor is connected to the power supply. The transmitting coil is glued on the top of the motor. And finally, the receiving PCB is connected with the transmitting PCB. The IC is then programmed with the help of a FTDI USB board and it's ready for spinning. Please note that the flicker is due to the shutter speed of the camera. In real life, no such flicker occurs. If you like this video, please press the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.